In this video, I thought we'd take a look at the ancient Greek projects I'm working on. Um, it's a project I'm doing, it's kind of a little bit of work and play, really. Um, hopefully we'll be able to talk more about um, what these figures going to be for uh, in the coming weeks. But um, I thought we'd just take a look at the, the, the models as they stand. They're uh, mostly based on a, a Victrix um, plastic figures. Um, I'll show you some of the builds I've done so far. So we kind of have um, this kind of standard spearman hop like warrior. This guy's in a um, linen armour. Also the option to build um, figures in, in bronze, bronze plated armour too. This guy's got a face plate on him. A um, good variety of heads on these throughout the range really. Um, different helmet types. Um, some bareheaded. Like these peltasts and these javelin men. Also use a, a, a bare head on a, a character that I built here. Kind of based him on the Perseus from the old Clash of the Titans film. Um, and his shield actually, it's a bit larger than the Victrix one. It's from um, a Warlord Games kit. Um, Warlord Games also makes some nice Greek figures. Um, here's one from the Spartan kit, which actually uses the, the, the Warlord Games to a Greek hot bite sprue with um, a Spartan add-on with some heads and um, some different weapons and things like that. So they make up nice figures too. And um, I've actually sort of kit bashed across the two, two ranges on some of the figures. So for instance, this guy, Persons, he's got the, uh, the shield from the Warlord Games kit. And um, this hero here has the uh, Warlord Games body. And I think the cape is from Victrix, and the head is actually from a Warlord Games uh, Celt Warrior sprue. Um, yeah, really nice figures, uh, very, a lot of variety. And what I like about um, painting up Greeks is, um, um, in, in the history, I think most of them are sort of the, the Athenians and um, in particular belong to um, uh, uh, the city-state of Athens. And uh, they kind of wore their usual everyday gear uh, and, they all, and they all had uh, helmets and weapons and shields that had been passed down through uh, through the family, through the generations. And it gives you quite a bit of scope for, for painting. So I'll show you a few that I've painted up. Uh, I literally just finished these. Um, the shield probably needs a bit of a varnish. Um, so yeah, so you've got this guy in this kind of blue tunic. And a red and white plume on his head and his helmet. Uh, this guy again, another unarmoured spearman from the from Victrix, uh, giving him some green robes, different style of helmet. We have this one here, the most kind of classical hop like design helmet you will see. Um, He's got a kind of like stone coloured robes, this one, stone coloured robes again, different helmet, different shield. So you get a good variety in a nice kind of colourful, colourful unit um, as you paint, you know, also I've done a Spartan, so this one's from the Warlord Games Spartan kit. And uh, yeah, really enjoying um, working on this project actually. I've got quite a lot to do. So I've been working on it for a, a good few weeks, I think. But it's really interesting, it's interesting to paint. Um, these shield 
shields are, by the way, a, a little big men studios transfers. And um, yeah, they're going quite well, I really like them. They take a little bit of a get used to because they're not water slide, they're more like stickers that that you apply straight onto the shield. Um, so you can't, as far as I know, you can't use Deckel softener on them, but they seem to have gone on fairly well. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm working on at the moment. Um, so I hope you enjoyed having a, a quick look at these figures, and um, I'll do another video soon. So uh, bye for now.